God. And when you stepped into the ministry, you were given the label of a prosperity preacher. I was. Okay. What did that mean? I think in some ways we were just focused on material, um, just the material aspect of the gospel, and we were really trying to be successful. Now, I have to say this, that within our community, primarily ethnically... Okay, tell um, me, and give us the context of your community. Who were they? Primarily at that time, we were dealing with uh, Caribbeans, people from the Caribbean, and uh, they were coming to our ministry in droves. But obviously, you're looking at people who aren't as financially upwardly mobile, as one would say. And we really felt that something was lacking in our community. We weren't, you know, in the best jobs. We didn't live in the best neighborhoods. And we struggled with issues of education and success in general. And we felt that, that inside the gospel, there was something that spoke to us that said God wanted us to live a better life. And I think I took it to one extreme. And the truth is, I saw people responding, and I realized that there was a need, but the danger is if you lobby too much on the extreme, you actually pollute the gospel. Oh, so you're, you, tell me, just how far did you go with that? Well, I went very far. I went very far, um, you know, because one of the things that I disdain is I disdain poverty. Um, I've seen it firsthand. I've traveled to parts of the world. I was actually born uh, in the Caribbean. And my experience as a child was I was very impoverished. I was born in a, you know, small village and, you know, having shoes was a luxury. Um, we had one pair of shoes to go to school and as you lived in the home, there was no shoes. So I I've seen what poverty can do. I I've seen the impact of poverty and I, I disdain it. And so in running away from that, the danger is you run to the other side of the spectrum, trying to run away from things that you disdain. So you repented, though, yes. of being a prosperity yes. preacher. What did that look like? Well, it's the negative stereotypes that go with that, because I, I do believe that inside the Bible, there is a message of prosperity. Explain that to us. 